Hey, good afternoon everybody. So it's now another week, another vlog. Um, basically Scott is here. It's Wednesday. Wednesday, I know, yeah, yeah, but I start it halfway through now. I do, yeah. Yeah, actually I do, yeah. Changing the rules as to yeah, see but, <laughs> but anyway, Scott has delivered some lovely your things. Mm -hmm. So he's actually he brought a brownie pot for him and I ordered a lotus a cheesecake egg, so it's called a cheg. Right, so here it is. Oh, it smells nice as well. It smells so good. Really very nice. And then the brownie pot, you can open that as well. Oh, it just looks like a mess. It doesn't. It doesn't stuck to the... It, it looks so good. From the caramel brownie. I think I'll have a bit of both. How amazing they look. And also, from Salon Services, I got the three pots of wax, two brown tins and one black tin and five bits of bedroll that come to £44 but obviously it's business stuff so I need it but yeah I'm gonna have some cheesecake. We're back home from town they basically got a few bits and I've actually got some juicy joggers from TK Maxx and it's like small I really like the colour of them and everything but they're just slightly too big um, and they're slightly too long as well but Scott actually got a scratch card. It does test his look. So I don't get them all the time, but oh, I always no. seem to get them when we're on the they call. Once in a while. Eh. On the call or on the vlog? Vlog, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. They are a lovely blue colour and they do have the juicy logo there, but they just look really baggy. Like it's not worth you know kind of keeping them. But yeah, and I also have this cardigan from um the H&M online, I think it was £7, it's really cute. I've just paired it with his bodysuit, but I also got here some Zara shorts and these were actually in yeah, the sale in TK Maxx, £6. So I'm hoping they'll fit me, I'll try them on, otherwise it'll be another thing to return. Um, and then I also got uh, some birthday cards here from Paper Chase because they're actually a pound each. And then I got these crates from Primark because I've actually got some and I really like them and I'm going to use them for the salon. <coughs> Copy that. <coughs> hey! <laughs> They're very easy to set up. Um, and they had all sorts of different colours. They had like orange, purple, pink, uh, dust, like a dusty pink. They had like a bright pink, orange. Yes, yeah, so I've got the small and two the larger ones. And these are good. You're just kind of keeping stock in here, so wax. Uh, pots and like uh, makery bits and just whatever else but I've actually we've got a massive parcel from the eyelashes it, it's probably one of the biggest parcels I've ever received these shorts are way too big as well so it looks like I'm just returning them both which isn't a, a bad thing you know but yeah these were in an extra small and these can probably go past my hips well only just to my hips these were extra small and they were too big. They no wonder six pounds. Oh yeah, it's also a winner one six pounds, haven't you? Well done. Yeah, these are going back as well. Yeah, oh, great. Right, so I've really just delved into this parcel. I've got forty pairs of lashes here, so I'm all stocked up on them. The reason why it came in such a big a box, I never realised it was as big as this to stand, but it's, it's huge. What? Did you look at the description of the... Uh... No, but I just got yeah, the biggest stand because I thought, well, oh, it is nice. It's so nice. Because the smallest could only fit 16 pairs on and the, the medium was all right, but it didn't look as nice as the big one. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. If I can get all the bubble wrap off. Look, so I'm now at 30 lashes ambassador. No, you're not. I'm joking. Oh my god, but this is so nice. Look at that. 30 lashes. Oh. It was quite pricey, it was £45, but it's obviously an investment for the salon. So, of course, it's going to be worth it. Invest to become your best. Yeah, exactly. It's so nice. That's not the quote I know, but there is a there is a quote. Yeah, I love it a lot. 
so nice. I'll be able to put all my lashes on this and yeah, oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's a good day. Oh, what's in here? There's more stuff in here. Boxes. Yeah, maybe it used to hold it up on an angle. Yeah, it could have been, yeah. Here is the stand all set up with all my eyelashes on. So I've got 40 pairs here. How professional does that look? It's annoying how you know, they won't kind of all fit together. But I suppose maybe the gaps can have like eyelash clues in there maybe for sale. I don't know. I think in business, Scott, you know. But yeah, very good so far. Very good. Very nice. Cheap. <laughs> I've had a bit of a top up of makeup products and also some makeup brushes, so I order from Peaches and Cream again. It's probably one of my favourite brands. So, firstly, I got their kind of sculpting powder, so it's like the powder version instead of the cream contour. Yeah, their cream contours are really good, but I just wanted to try this out. And then I got four pigments. I actually got a sea salt, it's like a blue colour, and it was actually on offer for free. Uh, 75 or something like that and i thought well you know it's on offer and it's a really cool color actually if you guys could see that how nice is that color uh, and then also got the gatsby this is one of my most uh, favorite pigments of mine and i use it all the time and i just use a new one again how beautiful is that color i also got the wild west which is like a brown color i also got the wish which is like a, a matte kind of shimmery gold and then got three makeup brushes i got a dawn foundation brush a crease brush and a fine eyeliner brush then i also got five lip liners in a pack the hold the line pack it's really nice colors i absolutely love the peaches and cream uh, lip liners and also morphe ones but these are really good so yeah i'm all stocked up now for a little while anyway yes i've got my little pigments here i'm when you make up i'm chuffed to bits and if you look like a steak guys but honestly i have never felt so boggy eyed and have as much as a tired sore head as this in my life so i'm actually gonna have a nap and <laughs> oh my god my hair i need to dry it i know yeah i've i've had a shower and wash my hair but i'm just kind of like the towel dry for a bit but basically i am just gonna have a nap and then after my nap i am i am des i am desperately gonna have to clean my room because it hasn't been done in three weeks which is kind of disgusting but obviously I've been really busy, like really busy. So it's obviously your time to do it. And I also had some dry flowers arrive um, from AliExpress. I saw some Pampers, but it looks, I'm not really keen on it. I'm not gonna lie. And like, it, it looks really good in the photos, but I don't know if it's gonna look too big for my vase. Um, and then, I also got some of this stuff, I don't even know what you call it. Um, yeah, but only thing is it goes everywhere, so I'm gonna have to keep it somewhere where like it, it won't spread. Look at what a bit of makeup can do where like look. I sound like a proper company in there when I said eh, I'm really sorry. A lot of people say that I don't sound like Cumbrian. I don't know maybe because my dad's isn't from I can brew it, I don't know. But anyway, basically, I've actually set up my little uh, crate things. I've only managed to put some stuff in one, but I've got the waxing crate here. So I've put all of you know, the wax pots and eyebrow tints in there. I've also filmed a video. I've also cleaned my room. So much better. Look at my new room. Well, they're not my new room. It's always been my room, but you know what I mean? It's just so much better. Excuse all the clothes on there. It's always a mess on there. But yes, I have had sore eyes ever since yesterday when I woke up, so I, I, I need to put my glasses on. I never vlog with them on, but oh my god, my eyes are hurting. That's on my tea as well. Yeah, but, yeah, but basically, I don't think I updated the vlog yesterday, but the very sad news. Uh, Tom Parker from The Wanted actually passed away. I'm sure everyone probably knows by now, because these weekly vlogs are a couple of weeks behind if that makes sense so i film them two the weeks before they get uploaded the yeah, other basically he passed away from like a brain tumor i think he he battled with it for 18 months or something but i was really shocked because he's obviously only 33 years old when he passed away like he's got two young kids and obviously i used to love you know, listening to the wanted when i was little like i've actually been playing a lot of the music today and like it just brings back 
you the memories of when you used to listen to it of a CD player. Who remembers like CD players? Yeah, no, back in the day. But yeah, I was very shocked. And um, yeah, when Scott told me, I was like, oh my god, like it can't be real. You know, I'm getting a bit emotional. I don't know why, but I think it's because like he's very young and he's got like two young kids. You know, like I think when you've got young children, like you're one of the parents passed away. All you can think about is the children because it's like, oh my god, like how heartbreaking. But yeah, anyway, before I start to cry, <laughs> I've got tissues on my bedside table, so I need to use one, use one. But yeah, anyway, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to work tomorrow for the salon, and I have a lot of stock to bring with me because obviously I went to Capital yesterday, which is like a beauty wholesalers. Um, and got like a lot of stuff. You may be thinking why I'm in the car and I um It just popped to keep it like a bit of a clean so I'm not gonna be hoovering it Because we don't have like a cordless hoover and plus I'd have to take it Around the back of the house to actually clean like to hoover out. It's a bit of a faff and yeah, The carpets aren't too bad anyway, but I'm just gonna give it like a dust and like a clean Um, yeah, please excuse The dash cam This is obviously like a very important piece of of equipment for this car it seems though i've had a lot of stuff happen to the car but anyway yeah so i've just got like a duster i've kept this in the car for a while because cars do get quite dusty because like obviously like you're driving and you know like you you can spend a lot of time in your car which like results in in dust which isn't it, and nice of course but like you've obviously got to keep on top of cleaning it and you just need a car wash on the outside as well but <laughs> Yeah, I literally, I'm too scared to go to the car washes on my own to be honest, so that's why I like going with someone You can usually go like in the drive through ones, I know some people say like, oh like You should go to drive through ones, but I just find it a lot easier <laughs> Like, I can't be bothered washing my own car You know, but yeah I'm just gonna, oh I keep on dusting, oh my god there's so much dust, it's disgusting I will kind of shake the mats off a bit outside but yeah for now oh my god the car is quite dirty and i'm also using dr beckman for the uh, seats you just kind of give them like a bit of a freshen up you know and then i am going back to work for around half three i've got a client at four so i do have like a bit of a time now just kind of do what i need done in this car I definitely needs done right now definitely i'm hoping it'll smell a lot nicer once it's all done so yes this is my life right now. I wish me luck, guys. Yeah, the car is all clean now. Honestly, that is the worst. Well, I wouldn't say worst job, actually. I mean, I only hoovered yeah, the car mats because it did need done, but I didn't actually hoover like the seats and stuff, but the seats were fine because the last time I'd done them, I hoovered them pretty well. And to be honest, like, I do use the car often, but it's only really me who's in the car. So like, it was only really my side that needed done. Um, so it's actually nice for it to smell clean, it does smell like cherries because I use the uh, cherry fabulosa spray up there. But yeah, but now I'm just gonna sort the hoover out. It's chill before I, I go back to work at like the half three. I am gonna take all my stock down as well. Yeah, so this is the life right now in the kitchen. But yeah, to have my sliders on just because. What's that mark on there? It's just because it's just easy. Socks and sliders aren't always. A look, but you know what? I really couldn't care less, so yeah. Now I'm just gonna sort this and relax. So I've got some more wax in the wax pot actually because I don't think there's any left. Yeah, luckily, I still have some wax pots here to kind of melt in there, but yeah, I'll have to put it on a high heat, it can all melt in. Yeah, so that's the joys of being having your own wax pot, but. The only thing is it's like stuck to the lid because yeah, this wax pot is really old now. I've had it for like three years. Um and yeah, it just seems to be really sticky, but I mean it's more secure, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, put this on. Put it on a high heat. Is that going up? Yeah. Um yeah, and hopefully it should work now. You look at the sky on the night time, guys. Wait. There we go, look how, how nice this is. Ooh, where's the moon gone? Uh, oh yeah, the moon's over there. Wait a minute. Where is it? It's right there, wait a minute, guys. Oh, you can't even see. Oh yeah, you can vaguely. It's like, wait a minute, where's my finger gone? Just there. But yeah. 
taking photos. Oh my god, I'm really zoomed in. They're taking photos. Wow. Oh my god, that's a good photo. My camera's not as good as yours, I've noticed. It doesn't seem to pick up the colours as well, but that's Scotland over there. Scotland, you can see that. Very nice. Come on then, what are you going to win me? Aww. Come on then. <laughs> Four more goals. Ready? Yeah, which one are you going for? That one again. No. You're too slippy. Headshot. Sorting Scott's shop so by the time this vlog goes up his shop will actually be up and running so wish him good luck mm -hmm. look how cute it's looking he does smell very strong of paint at the moment and like it's giving me a bad head but he's just trying to organize he's actually selling birthday cards he's selling uh, dried flowers he's going to be selling obviously sweets and cakes and, cakes and drabit but yeah that's his little setup there from Primark it's very handy indeed if you box them all up we can get some cards sorted and some bits and bobs put together and clear all this stuff. Yeah. You'll be on a roll. I'm having myself a glass of rosé wine. I rarely have a drink guys. It's basically a bottle of rosé wine from Scott's house from last week and I didn't actually finish it all and I had two glasses last week. I had a glass last night and it tasted like it tastes really strong now. I think because like, it's been open for like a week and like it just starts to taste stronger, which is horrible. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to drink as much as I can, but yeah, like this is why I don't really drink like alcohol really often. Just because I do find it fairly strong, but yeah. But anyway, I think it's time I end this vlog because you know I am just gonna be doing bits and bobs. I think I'm gonna FaceTime Scott again. I'm just because I'm tomorrow there, you know, how cute is that? Like, give us your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, um, yes, I'm just gonna be getting into a PJ. So, oh my god, as yeah, these jeans are so nice, but it's sometimes like they're a bit restrictive. Yeah, they are kind of loose to fit in, so obviously, I'm more comfortable, but they're so like tight on my, on my waist, which is like a good thing for keeping. You know, upright and stuff, but yeah, it's just a bit annoying. So I cannot wait to get into my PJs and just be nice and warm and cozy. Yeah, and just reply to customers because this is my life, you know. Self-employed makeup artist. <laughs> but yeah, but I need to give my skin a, a good cleanse as well tonight because obviously I don't have any makeup remover left at Scott's house, so I had to use cleanser, and I could just tell my skin has spots coming underneath the skin, and I have not. I use my green stick the mask for nearly a week now which is really bad so i am just going to give my skin a lovely cleanse and detox tonight and drinking alcohol probably won't help but <laughs> i just need to get out of the way because i just yeah it ain't vibing with me tonight but anyway if you guys have enjoyed this weekly vlog you know what to do now also please make sure to leave a thumbs up comment down below also subscribe and i should see you all in my next videos Bye for one.